So as we are starting a new season, it is important uh, that you do understand uh, the topics that you're going to be working with in your grade nine uh, mathematics in this term uh, that is working with term one. Uh, it is very, very, very crucial that you go through these topics. So the first part that you're going to have, guys, is we are having our year. It is uh, to work with the whole numbers. Uh, considering this, it is in within uh, the first two weeks, you actually need to work with this part of all numbers. It is actually a lot of things there, a lot of properties that you just need to know, but not that much. You just need to revise uh, most of these. It is your basics that we had previously in your grade eight uh, mathematics. So we are not going to waste much time on that one. So make sure that you go through uh, the whole numbers which is the part that is going to cover the properties of whole numbers. You are supposed to be able to describe the real number system by recognizing, defining, and distinguishing properties of natural numbers, the whole numbers, the integers, the rational numbers, the irrational numbers. So this is the basics that you're going to be actually having uh which we are going to be having uh let's just say tomorrow basically we are going to be actually having with those basics you need to just understand what exactly you are given to know these properties of each and every uh type that is given there then also work with the multiples and factors which is going to lead us to the hcf uh and also the application of the lcm so that is to use prime factorization of numbers to find LCM and HCF. It is important that you know those basics. Then solving problems. That is to solve problems in context involving ratio and direct. Direct and indirect proportion. You need to know all this. Then to solve problems that involve whole numbers percentages and decimal fractions in financial context that is in financial mathematics you need to apply uh, those ratios the, the percentages that you had before the decimal fraction this and that in your financial mathematics okay it's part of what it's part of these whole numbers guys it's part of whole numbers so you need to know this uh, as you had uh, previously in your grade A, that is to work with commission, the rentals, uh, the compound interest. We shall also talk of the simple interest as you are revising. Then also be your able, your, you must be able to realize or to recognize the commutative, associative, the distributive properties of all numbers. You are supposed to understand zero in terms of its additive property that is the identity element for addition you're also supposed to understand one in terms of its multiplicative property that is an identity element of multiplication we're going to talk about that to recognize the division property of zero where any number divided by zero is undefined this is very very important for you to realize that uh, these properties that you are given here. So we're going to talk about that, guys. Do not worry. Just make sure you do revise in as much as you can. Then also uh, within the next uh, two, two weeks, which is week three and week four, you must be working with the integers. That is calculations with integers. All calculations that are surrounding around the the, the 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 integers that is working with all the integers revise addition and subtraction with integers the multiplication and division perform calculations involving all four operations with integers so make sure that you go through each and every part of integers that you are given uh, the properties of integers revision is supposed to be done that is revise commutative associative and distributive properties of addition and multiplication for integers. Additive and multiplicative inverses for integers. So every part there, I'm going to talk about this, you need to know all these basics and it is important 
that you are going to perform calculations involving all four, pro, uh, all four operations with the numbers that involve squares, the cubes, the square root, the cube root of integers. To calculate the squares, the cubes, the square roots, and the cube roots of E, uh, of the rational numbers. I mean, that one is going to be of the rational numbers. So, guys, it, uh, it is a lot of properties that are given that you need to master in within a short period of time. So, it needs you to be very, very prepared. Okay? Make sure you go through your basics and also go through the revisions. So, this is what we have for the first part. Then you move on to the uh, uh, assessment that you're going to be given. Then going on to the exponents, all right? Continuing, still in term one. They need you to know the application of exponents, the laws of exponents. Revise the following general laws of exponents. So make sure that you go through all these laws as you are revising. Then also uh, this part of the laws of exponents to be done to perform calculations involving all four operations using numbers in exponential form it is important that you revise these then also it is important that you go through your numeric and geometric patterns that is to investigate and extend the patterns all right so make sure you go through these properties as you are doing your revisions under numeric and geometric patterns then lastly guys the revision so in this case as you can see we have a short period of time for the revision before writing the test which covers everything that you did in your term one so this test that you are going to be having here which is all topics which are in your term one so this period as you can see guys it's a short period that we have for for the revision so this is what i'm saying as you are working with the introductions right now, make sure you go through the introductions, each and every topic, understand, all right, this is how the questions are being given. This is what they need me to go through and understand. After those basics, do revise as many questions as you can. Question papers, go through your question papers. So that is it, guys. We are going to need these topics. They are very, very important in this term. So make sure that each and every part is understood. The comment section, that is why it is there, guys. Let's utilize our comment section. Let's communicate uh, which areas to work with, to work on uh, as we are starting this uh, term. There are so many things that you actually need to understand. So if there's a question, guys, that is the platform. Till we meet again.